Hi guys, it's Rob here with another conceptual design tutorial. So, continuing where we left off, so we have a parent entity. Right? On the one side. On one side. And a child entity. On the many side. So what we mean by that is that if we have one here, and we have this, this is one, this is many, this is child, this is parent. Because remember, in, in, a, in a family tree, we have, uh, you know, a parent with many children, right? So we have the parent, the one parent here, and then who has the many children. Right, so that's just, these are just, uh, ter there's just terminology here. Right? Now, optional. Means minimum. Because remember, minimum cardinality is how many must participate in order for that relationship to exist. Minimum cardinality of zero. Mandatory. minimum cardinality of one All right moving on we have some symbols and their associated meaning or associated meanings All right so if we see this we know this is one mandatory. Right now, remember the inner cardinality is the min, outer is max. So just when you look at these things, just remember that. So now we have this, right? And this is, oops, kind of butchered that. One, two, many. And this is many mandatory. And I'll explain these in just a second. This is one optional. And this is many optional. Optional. Okay. So one mandatory, basically what we mean here is the minimum cardinality is one, the maximum cardinality is one. The minimum cardinality here means that there has to be one attribute, there, there has to be uh, one participant in order for this relationship to exist, right? At least one of that, of whatever it is. Many mandatory means that the maximum cardinality is many, the minimum is one. So notice the mandatories have a minimum cardinality of one, the optionals have a minimum cardinality of zero, but a maximum cardinality of either one or many. And that's where this comes from. So the first part of this comes from their maximum cardinality. The first part of this, either one or many, right, comes from the maximum cardinality. And the second, mandatory or optional, comes from minimum cardinality. So the notation is sort of max dash min, right, where a maximum could be one, many, minimum could be zero, or one. And that's how we get this list of symbols and their associated meanings. Now, one more thing I want to say before you guys go. Degree of relationship. And that's the number of types, the number of entity types involved in a relationship and with that uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial